This episode of Safe Moon Night will cover Safe Moon price and daily volume, the DeFi space and a bear market. What makes a good project? Ryan Ariaga and Safe Moon. If you've been able to hack into my night computer and survey my feed, congratulations. You deserve to be subscribed, able to like, and able to comment on this data source. Please share the video to boost the server algorithm to get this information on SafeMoon to others. For more night content, make sure to access and follow my Twitter feed. I am SafeMoon Knight. Alfred, provide a live feed to SafeMoon's current price and daily volume. Coming your way, Master Bruce. Seems as though SafeMoon's current price is 0.0004614, with a daily volume of 360,000. Looks like the price of SafeMoon has been pretty steady since the whale sell-off of approximately $250,000. Nah, nothing the Safe Moon Army can't handle. With product launches on the horizon, I'm not worried. Now, moving on. Information is key when getting into any project. Knowing the project you're involved in, as well as knowing their partners, is important for understanding the ecosystem and overall culture your project is building. Today, there was an informative Twitter space held by Jeremiah called the Safe Moon Water Cooler. He had Reflex CEO Ryan Ariaga in the space. He's more significant than any other because Ryan is an ex-employee of SafeMoon. He's responsible for the SafeMoon wallet and SafeMoon Connect. He's a major player in the DeFi space and Reflex Finance is a partner in the SafeMoon swap ecosystem. The DeFi space used to be a scary place to put one's hard-earned money into. However, Ryan believes the DeFi space has evolved. He thinks the maturation of the DeFi space is happening for sure. It used to be a space for rug pulls and people taking advantage of others putting their money in a project, but it's different now. Addict, who's the co-host from Jeremiah Safeman's water cooler Twitter space, said the good guys are taking over, and Ryan agreed. Look. There are real projects doing real things in the DeFi space. SafeMoon has made security and safety one of their columns of success. Security is a big deal for SafeMoon, and it is difficult to be included in the SafeMoon swap. There's a rigorous process to join the SafeMoon swap. On my Twitter account, I tweeted out how rigorous it was to join the SafeMoon swap ecosystem. I said, SafeMoon Army, were you aware that SafeMoon asks 39 robust questions to new tokens that want to list on SafeMoon swap? That's just the initial application process. You can see that it's next level security, and no joke. 100% of swap partners are fully doxxed and vetted. What other swap can say that? I know, none. This gives confidence and security against rug pulls for all those on the SafeMoon swap ecosystem. Now, let's talk a little bit about Reflex. Ryan Ariaga stated that Reflex is on their V2. They also have staking. Hmm. I wonder when SafeMoon will have their own staking available on the SafeMoon wallet. Wouldn't that be nice? He also stated there's a launch pad for next generation swap partners. Ryan stated that they apparently cracked the code for possible gas lift swap fees. At least below 75 cents. Very low gas fees even in other swaps like Pancake Swap. They will also offer a service they call Pulse. It's a financial health check for your token or project and puts the data in an interface where the company will be able to see their project's health. Uh, an NFT exchange they'll have, and also they'll have farming. Now, moving on to a bear market. Ryan believes that the bear market is not going to last as long as the last one. The last one lasted about three years. He states there's too much innovation, there's too much progress being made in the DeFi space for it to last that long. It's no secret that there's been a boom in progress in the DeFi space with blockchain technology and projects within projects that have return on impact, like those in the Gambia, and work in conjunction with governments, with regulations, helping citizens across the globe with the innovation done in the DeFi space. January Walker also made it to today's Twitter space. She's running for Congress in Utah. She stated that the average bear market lasts about nine and a half months. She believes that there are different phases of a bear market and believes that these phases won't last as long as they did in the past. Uh, if a token can hold its value during a bear market, when the bull market hits, it'll just be that much sweeter. Next, 
Ryan gives three signals of a good project for a SWAT partner. First, the team. Are they experienced? Do they have a leg up in some sort of way or an advantage with connections or some finances? Next, are they willing to be doxxed? It's a big deal to prevent rug pulls or scams and make devs responsible to the holders, which in turn will give a sense of motivation to do well in their project. Well, we know for Safe Moon that the entire team is in fact doxxed. Next, what is the end goal? Is there utility or a use case? Have they thought through the roadmap and how? They're going to get to their end destination. On the Twitter space, I ask Ryan a question regarding why he's one of the few ex-employees of SafeMoon who continue to believe in SafeMoon. Why that many of the other ex-employees from SafeMoon talk ill about it, but Ryan only has good things to say. Here's what he said about it. Uh, but I'm with SafeMoon Knight. SafeMoon Knight may have a question or comment. What you got for us, sir? How are you doing today? My question is geared toward Ryan. It's no secret that many of the ex-employees of SafeMoon have nothing but negative things to say about Corona, about SafeMoon and the project itself. However, you are quite the opposite. You have nothing but good things to say. My question is, why? Why is your experience so much different than theirs? That is all. <laughs> um, I would say that I came, I came to SafeMoon uh, relatively late. I came there in, I started working at, it was June. So I think a lot of what we've seen um, in the beginning of Safe Moon w happened before I arrived. Um, there was a lot of, you know, turbulence, you know, with other team members and, you know, I will not weigh in on, you know, what that was like or, you know, that kind of thing. I will say that when I came in, I was hired to do one job and one job only, and that was be your global head of products. And, you know, with my tech background for 15 plus years, I came in to do that exact job. And that's what I did. And, um, you know, I was not privy to a lot of maybe other things, maybe things that, uh, you know, are to, uh, back and forths or what have you. Um, you know, I was there to start building that wallet app. And that was the very first thing I did when I came in. And so I will say that, you know, when you come in, even when I left, you're going to, when you get very passionate about something, um, just because you disagree with someone doesn't mean, you know, the other person's wrong or bad. All it means is you have a disagreement and there's nothing wrong with that. So when I left, obviously there was um, just maybe a, a small disagreement and that was it. And it's in the past and it's no big deal now. Um, the way that I see it is safe moons, you know, my heart is uh, and my DNA is still in safe moon because of what I've built there and my community you know that I that I was a part of within Safe Moon is still there as well, and that will never change. And so, it happens all the time in businesses. I mean, it's nothing to be startled about. It's nothing to be you know worried about. I think that every company that grows and evolves is always going to have you know some kind of disagreements. There might be some people going their own way. No problem. It happens. And you know, in my case, um, I'm now with a, a company that is a Safe Moon partner. I can still, you know, be a part of the amazing community and amazing friendships and relationships that I've made with Safe Moon and and, and with its community, and you know, it it's just we're just going in a, a different direction, but it doesn't mean that we're not still in the Web three space, and you know, we are all here to make a difference. Whether I'm with Safe Moon, whether I'm with Reflex, um, we are here to make a difference, and that's for everybody. And as we lift up, and you know, John said this before you know, uh, a rising tide raises all ships, right? As we lift up, everyone will lift up. And that's what we're trying to do here. And so I, I think there's a bigger, bigger problem. And it's not just, you know, a few companies or a few projects. It's the entire space needs to be kind of adjusted and recalibrated. And that's a big goal. And that takes, you know, really strong, you know, focused leaders to help do that. But if we can do that and we can mature and we can do that right, I think that people will start to see, they'll start to cue in. It won't happen immediately, but it'll happen slowly. And they'll say, huh, okay, these companies, these projects, they're delivering, they're doing right by us. They're doing everything they can to do right by us. You know what? I'm going to go with these guys. And eventually like a fine cream coming to the top, people will start to see that. So um, that's all I'll say about that. And, you know, I, like I said, you know, 
I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Safe Moon community. Seems as though he believes in a rising tide raising all ships and has a one for all and all for one mentality. A winning mentality for sure. One that is shared with Karoni and those involved in Safe Moon. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at the 1000 subscriber mark. Thank you, Safe Moon Army. If you like viewing this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're aware of when I release my next video. Please share this video to help get the news on SafeMoon onto others. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest news on SafeMoon as it's happening. We're growing more and more every day and broke the through the 900 follower benchmark. Let's bust through 1000. Look, the bear market is nothing to bat your eyes at. It's a challenging time for all holders and projects alike. Values are down and FUD is high. But if you look at Safe Moon, the FUD has been mysteriously quiet lately. I think that speaks volumes. A bear market is scary and destroys some of the stronger diamond-handed individuals. However, those who know understand that millionaires are made in bear markets. Bear markets is a great time to get ahead and reach goals we've been wanting to reach. The average bear market historically lasts about nine and a half months, but DeFi has evolved. DeFi has changed and built a name for itself in the financial realm. Mixing crypto with big tech, one can reach new heights never before reached. Using blockchains for wind turbines, NFTs and property ownership, blockchain elections, and much more. These concepts, innovative, sure, however, are now becoming a reality with tech companies like SafeMoon and with help from those like Ryan Ariaga and Reflex Finance, along with other big players in the crypto space. It's only a matter of time when SafeMoon becomes a household name. Stay vigilant, stay patient, stay SafeMoon, and I'll stay. Safe Moon Night.